From Connecticut's newsroom, now Fox Connecticut Morning News. Welcome back. Coping with the death of a loved one is an incredibly difficult process, but it's an important process to understand. And a local author has written a terrific book to not only help educate people about grief, but also to empower people to live their life fully. It is called We Don't Die. And this morning we have Sandra uh, Champlain here to tell us more about the book. As you see the cover there, what inspired writing the book? And uh, there's a special event going on this Saturday as well. So good to see you, Sandra. How are you? Good. Good morning, Logan. I'm wonderful. So Thank tell you. us how you decided to write this book. Oh, the last thing I would have ever imagined. Mm. I was someone who had a fear of dying, and that led me on a journey looking for credible proof of life after death. I found it, so it calmed my fears. was never going to write a book, though, because I used to think people were crazy that believed in this sort of thing. And then in 2010, my dad got diagnosed with cancer. In the course of five months, he ended up passing away right here in Danbury Hospital. Mm. And it was a tough time, not only the pain of grief, which we've all felt, the devastation from it, but it was a time, too, that my family started fighting disagreements with my siblings mm -hmm. and in turn that ended up splitting up our relationships so grieving the loss of my dad and grieving the loss of my family started me real researching what is grief and why would this happen to a close family so tell us a little bit about the process of grief and how to go through it and what some of your tips are if somebody is I guess having a problem with the death well, of a loved one it is and grief is something we never discuss people, yeah. years ago people would be forgiven given not for grief for six months to a year and be kind of left alone. Grief is something that we experience any time we have a major loss. So it can be the death of a loved one, it can be the death of a cat, it can be a loss of a job, uh, a relationship, a divorce. The grieving process, the brain has to rewire itself for a new reality. So what most people expect is the anger, the pain, the sadness, but what's happening within our brain is we lose a lot of a, a neurotransmitter called serotonin. And serotonin controls our mood, but it also controls our perception, our communication, our memory. So a lot of the reasons there's so much fighting is because our brains aren't healthy. Mm -hmm. I compare a grieving brain to someone who is going through a drug or alcohol withdrawal. So love and effect is our addiction and when the love is no longer there it hurts and so to be with a grieving person we want to have compassion whether uh, we're going through a grieving process as a family be compassionate know you're going to get angry and crazy but work through it as opposed to being upset with one another there's some things to do to raise the serotonin level within our brains things that bring us happiness things like um, a girlfriend of mine brought me to a puppy store mm. while dad was dying and as hard as the pain was of losing my dad, you have a puppy licking your face. Right. It, it's, it's hard to uh, not smile. So things that bring you joy are important. I think believing in life after death is ultra important. Um, and some people laugh at that, but years ago, the population as a whole used to think the world was flat. Right. And it took 300 years to change that conversation. And there is credible evidence out that we don't die, that we survive physical death death. The evidence is out there. Might take some time to change that. But for instance, there was a woman who gave my book to, gave We Don't Die to her mother, who um, her husband had passed away. After 41 years of a close relationship, this woman had locked herself in the house, was so depressed. People often stop living themselves when they're experiencing grief. And this woman realized the husband did not die. He's around. We may not be able to see him, but had the faith that uh, you know, she will see him again, and in turn, she is now, she's taken country line da dancing classes, mm. she's out with her friends, and life is meant to be lived and lived to the fullest, so in our final moments, we don't have any great re regrets, sure. and that's the ultimate message, is to have people live powerful You're lives. We're going to have a book signing in Kent this Saturday? This Saturday, from 1 to 5, I'll be okay. in Kent, and on August 24th, I'll be at the Barnes & Noble in Danbury. Okay, and if people want to pick up the book, We Don't Die, where can they get it? They can get it on Amazon, okay. uh, Barnes & Noble, Nook, Kindle, all the favorite places. Susan Champlain, good to see you, Susan. Thanks for Thanks. the insight. Appreciate it. You're